the flu season is still packing a powerful punch. A report released today by the CDC shows the season is just as bad as the swine flu epidemic. That was nine years ago. In Minnesota, the number of hospitalizations from the flu are actually going down a little, but local clinics and urgent care treatment centers are still seeing many people with influenza. Here's reporter Sonia Goins. Take a couple of deep breaths through your mouth here. The flu bug is making winter feel a whole lot longer. We've had very high volumes. Minnesota's categorized as widespread right now. Many folks are suffering from the flu. We are seeing quite a bit of flu, especially in the last about probably six weeks since it, just after Christmas, we've had quite a bit of flu. West Health Emergency Room Dr. Karen Wright says the number of flu cases are higher than each of the last two years. Generally with influenza, what we're seeing is higher fevers, a lot of body aches, a lot of chills, headaches, and then of course course, you're going to have the normal respiratory things like your sore throat, your cough, your congestion. Influenza can also cause serious problems, especially among children or the elderly. If it gets down and into the lungs, it can cause respiratory problems, which can lead to problems breathing. People occasionally have to be, you know, intubated. About 25 percent of patients are admitted in the Abbott West Health system. West Health has taken several precautions to protect the public and staff. We put droplet precautions on the door so that we wear a mask. We're trying to prevent, you know, too much exposure from everybody else. They wipe down the rooms with a powerful disinfectant and they limit the amount of time suspected flu patients are in the waiting room. Making sure we're triaging people adequately, getting patients into rooms, getting them seen, trying to figure out who's who's sick, who's not sick. Meanwhile, Dr. Wright says healthy young people with mild symptoms don't have to be seen, but the elderly, children under two, and pregnant women should be seen if they have flu-like symptoms. Those are the people that we need to give the medication, the Tamiflu, to. Uh, it's really best if we give it in the first 48 hours. It's really not too effective after that. I'm just going to feel your glands here. In Plymouth, Sonia Goins, CCX News. And you can help prevent the spread of flu by washing your hands, covering your cough, and if you're sick, stay home.